I'm gonna start my start my local recording up and we're good to go and we're good to continue on in the subspace so you gotta talk about something I found out about Metroid Prime that no one told me no one told me this about Metroid Prime by the way we're gonna watch cutscenes now because we're going too fast you can look around the map on the map screen you just have to hold right click and the mouse and keyboard controls you hold right click WASD you can look around the map no one told me no one corrected me no one pointed it out even when we had people that could have like corrected me because they kept going on about that but you could totally get around it I swear, the game's louder every time I stream, and I don't touch a single audio setting. Never played them. Yeah, it would have been... It certainly would have been nice to know. I'm going through the game again for the Metroid Prime video I talked about. Because... Um... You can't, like load up a save that finished the g oh I missed the jump button you can't load up a save of a finished game so when I loaded up the save it uh, erased the finished game so I gotta play through it again but that's okay because I'm already like halfway through I don't even need to like get to the end of the game I just need to get to uh uh, what is it? Get to like, um, uh, three, all, all the beams. All the beams and then I'm good. But it, it's going pretty fast. When you know where you're going, and especially with the speed up thing, is making the journey through it a lot more fun, in all honesty. Especially when you can, like, take care of a lot of late gay things, like late game things early because you know what they are so the the stretch through Metroid Prime a second time is a lot easier since you don't you can you can get things like the Chozo artifacts right away I should have got that I'm pretty sure mushrooms stack nope they do not huh maybe that was a code maybe that was a cheat code I remember but yeah, I'm a little miffed that I was not ever informed of that, and I don't blame you guys. Obviously, it's my fault because I didn't ponder, like, looking down at the bottom of the map and looking at the UI enough. I swore I did, though. I swore I sat there one time off stream and tried everything. I tried every single input. And nothing. There he is again. So that's okay. I was never a big fan of how Snake played. Not, not, not the worst character at all. Not the worst feeling character to me at all. And he's pro honestly now that like in a in a like if he was an old or a Wii U, he'd probably feel fine. So you know, I'm pretty confident. I'll give him a go. Miguel got to play today. Miguel played a Smash Ultimate at some mall, and he said he played a snake, and that snake was fun. Mennonite the only one flying the ship that has his face on it. Um, no, he's right there. Clearly not flying the ship. Uh, I forget what's flying it right now. It might be the Game & Watches. We, I don't think we fought the Game & Watch boss. So I'm pretty sure Game & Watches are uh, controlling the ship right now. I don't know if you heard this fact. This little factoid. It's, about, it's, it's on a wiki somewhere that explains that 
um, the adverse effect that is had on uh, the Game & Watches from like taboos whatever powers is because Game & Watch has no concept of good or evil. Making him an excellent vessel, I guess. I love with four snakes with explosions flying everywhere, yeah. Would you believe that to do that up tilt spam or that up air spam, I was... I don't know why I was just doing this. I, I just did it again. I'm hitting up. I'm hitting jump and C stick instead of jump and A. I realize, remember how the vessels of the characters have glowing eyes? What part of Game & Watch glows? If you, uh, yeah, find some, like, a match footage of him and then see on the, uh, start screen. Like, it'll show it. But, uh, that emphasizes the eyes. It does that in Wii U, too. When you get a KO with a character, their eyes on the character portrait gleam. I don't think that happens in Brawl. Maybe it does. Oh, there it is. But yeah, we're going through this too fast. We are, we are going through subspace too fast is what I have determined. Because from the, from the outlook, we might get up to the Great Maze tonight, and that's our goal right now, I believe. But like, uh, when I really think about it, Smash Wii U and Smash 3DS are only going to take one night each. I don't, I don't know how I would possibly stretch that off to, what is it, do we go up here? Nope, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go around and into the middle. I don't know how I would stretch 3DS or Wii U into three nights, but we are probably gonna end up right up at the Great Maze during this stream, and then on Thursday next week, complete the Great Maze, and then that'll be it for Brawl. Every mode with every character. Damn. We you coming back? Okay, nope. How's the audio? Should I turn the game down? I swear, like, I didn't touch anything. It's exactly where it was, and then suddenly, I think it's too loud. But I, I, I am also louder than I think I am anyways. Nice. You're li louder than the game. Okay. So there's a. Um, we know Pokemon came out on Switch. Um, and the game leaked as we talked about. I, I brought it up last week, but here's here's something funny that happened when it leaked. Um, first leaked the Eevee version because someone got like a physical copy and they dumped it online. So first leaked Eevee. Uh, Pikachu didn't leak yet, and what happened is someone decided to upload a blank fake 
file, a ROM file for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, which did not exist yet. So they uploaded a fake one, and what happens is if you install the fake game, uh, it breaked your Switch. Good old classic prank. <laughs> for anyone that wanted to pirate the game, they bricked their Switches. Where are we going? What the fuck are we on? Okay. And we were already up here. Oh. Now you would think you would walk that way. So I'm skipping Let's Go. Skipping Let's Go for whatever the 29 release is. I believe I am too, but I am tempted. Most certainly am tempted. Oh right, we were opening this door. That's what we were doing. And you know what? The dude was like... I didn't mean to do that. I didn't think that happened. Is is along the terms of what he said. But man, doesn't that ain't that just something? Yeah, the Great Maze is definitely going to take two hours to do. Along with unlocking the rest of the characters. The three after it, so. Hopefully things work out. These Void Critters love cosplaying princesses. I wonder if the um, Shadow Peach will turn into... Uh, Shadow Zelda will turn into Sheik. Oh shit. Nice. <laughs> Have you ever had a super stew that was so good it just invigorates your soul? Yes, definite most definitely. Poor Zelda. It's it's so dramatic closing the door on her. Alright, so we've unlocked Snake. And that's why it closes in on her, because she transitions right from the same shot. But the game's interrupted between those shots, so you don't really get that. We didn't talk about PlayStation canceling their E3 conference. Not just their conference, their entire E3 showing. A very peculiar move on Sony's part. There's, there's too many unknowns about why to, like, really make an assumption if it's a good or bad thing at the moment. Because, I mean, I think it's weird that they pulled out entirely. Even, even when Nintendo started doing directs, they still showed up. Because you're, it's another trade show. Why would you just miss out on a trade show? You know? Since they have PSX. Well, I mean, that's going to be, like, so long from now. Because they've already, they already canceled this year's PSX. So, what's, what's Sony got cooking? I mean, it could be a console. At this point, it could be a console. If we remember, most consoles are not actually announced at E3 anymore. Switch was not at E3. Xbox was not. They hold they hold their own events for them.
I wonder what that did. Ooh, look at all these enemies. There's still a lot to like subspace. I'm not like Where where where's the Ridley boss battle? Where's the other boss battle on Halbert? I guess that one's coming up. Wait, developers working on games for the PS5. Oh yeah, there is. Um, Luminous Studios is. Final Fantasy 15 team. They're, they have job listings that explicitly say PlayStation 5. I'm so glad that happened because otherwise I would hit the spikes. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Fuck this. Getting out of here. Camera. Camera. Is the camera coming or not? Oh, it's an auto. No, it's not an auto scroller. What the fuck? Why is the camera doing that? Oh, shit. We had the Ridley fight yesterday, right? Did I really fight Ridley? Do I just not remember fighting Ridley? Camera was grabbing a snack. Oh, mood. Yo, nice. Rarest trophy in the game. Is before he got coolerized? What does that mean? I didn't even like, I did not mention that this game has a boss rush mode that you unlock after completing subspace as well. I don't think I mentioned that when I was going through the modes. Oh man, Sheik's so cool. And by extension, Zelda. Yeah, just calm down, have some tea. It's okay, Fox. Oh, we got another Elt Star. We should start using these. Nah, let's not. Wait, does Sheik fight everyone? To test her limits. Here are the Game & Watch that are in control. And Snake just decked all of them at once. And they formed a boss. Hey Falco. Ah oh boy. No, wrong one. Damn it, are you kidding me? Let 
Mr. Saturn should not be spawning. There are no enemies that are going to be shielding. Oh yeah, this guy is definitely, if, if the one dude made a comeback into whatever the fuck Ultimate is doing in World of Light, then this dude's going to be back too. So get hyped for it. Also, while I was editing through the footage yesterday, I didn't really talk about... There were there were the characters that, you know, they were rumored, but what did I want when Brawl was out? I was... I was um, definitely, you know, featured them in my signature on the forums. If I can remember them. I was a big advocate for supporting people that wanted Villager and Tom Nook. It was more Tom Nook. People wanted Tom Nook. Because I don't think anyone thought of the villager as a character itself. So it was always Tom Nook. And I always loved the idea of how would this character fight. And I mean, it was basically answered. Through villager. I always thought that was really cool. Gino, I definitely wanted Gino. OG supporter of Gino and Brawl. Wait, no, it didn't. Fuck. Did it? Will we ever know? In time, we will. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Brawl had a good soundtrack. I didn't listen this far into this song because the, the beginning of it's a little monotonous, but at this point in the song, it's pretty good. Do I really got to go between every room? Or can I just... I think I do. Sounds like a Paper Mario 2 track. A door. I wonder if like... Hmm, was, I, I wonder if there was anyone else. I just know I focused a lot on Gino. I didn't, like, look into, like, retro characters until after Rob was established. Wonder what the secret move is to defeating this guy. Damn it, jump! There we go. I promise I was trying to hit his weakness, which was the entire top of him. Give me that. Already went in there, that right? I had to have. That's why the door is here, because I made it. No? Alright. Oh. 
Oh, the tease. Like, you thought you were gonna end the level, huh? Nope. What if we take, like, a stream to do Flash games? Or something like that. That might go... I don't know how... I don't know how that'd go. Rivals of Aether 2, maybe? Today we had the announcement of the Final Fantasy XIV's next expansion, Shadowbringers. Also abbreviated SB, like the last one. So there are two Final Fantasy XIV SBs. It's the one concern when, when we saw Square Enix made that trademark a month or so ago. Uh, everything about it is leaked, but I mean, things that were confirmed is a uh, gunblade as a as a job. Got gunblade, got blue mage, and blue mage is really cool that like it's actually it actually learns its moves from monsters instead of uh, just leveling up. However, the monsters it fights to do that might just be part of job quests and not like actual open world stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And then it's also going to be capped at 50, which I believe the reason they're doing that is so they don't have to work on the entire job from 1 to 80 right away. They can do it over time because doing just getting the job to level 50 and doing all those actions would be a lot easier. Now, what, what, what is this here for? Whoa, I'm on a... Whoa, what's up here? Hey, <laughs> hold on, what's up here? It is too far along uh, for me to go in without boosting characters. Yeah, it has boosts. It does have level boosts. What the fuck? Where was the surface up there? It's like, uh... Let me up there! What's- what's up there? I wanna see! It's also doing this really cool thing where you can do main scenario dungeons with NPCs. Because the uh, time to like queue up for a, a story dungeon, an older story dungeon, could take a while. It's just one platform. <gasps> there, there were two trophies. Wait. Don't disappear. No, it was just one. Okay, why, what was that for? That, that's not like a rare trophy or anything, is it? Why is that... Why is that such a well-hidden secret? So it's really cool. Um... Though, yeah, the main scenario in Final Fantasy XIV is insanely long, and just keeps getting longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and Blue Mage is not coming in uh, uh, Shadowbringers in 5.0. Uh, Blue Mage is going to be out before that in, in the next patch, actually. They're also working on um, being able to go between... I've never been here before. Going able to be, go between worlds within a data center. Um, which is also really cool. So, like, if anyone has any friends on another server that are at least in the same data center, you can just go to them and play there instead of on uh, your main server. It's really cool. I have another character that is on Balmung. It's the most populated server, so, I mean, I can move him. They ask people to leave Balmung, and I don't want to pay to leave Balmung, but if they're going to give me a free transfer or something, I'll leave. That's fine. I want to go up there. Damn it. Games in multiple classes because it makes me want to reach max level with every single one, but I legit don't have long enough lifespan to do that. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It, they all level up faster after you level up one, but the... Uh, seriously, from, like, the, the, the 50 to, like, 80 range, because the level cap is going to be raised to 80... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of time. I don't know how some people do it. We're gonna do a fight, aren't we? Let's do it. Oh shit. It's closing in. Friend, get up here. Be safe. You're gonna die down there. No! Friend! <gasps> what the fuck? Is he dead? What the f Oh, was there a key I was supposed to be carrying? Well, I didn't do that. Oh, this isn't the end of the level. You see that, that shine, that gloss on the back windows? I thought that was the holy light of the end of the level. Friend lives, but friend betrayed me. He lied. He guilted me. Oh, that crack was the end. So that, along with the other changes they're going to bring, I'm very excited for Shadowbringers. It's going to be really cool. Ah, oh, man, that's, that's Ganondorf using modern technology. And that's really weird, actually. I've never thought about that. What the fuck? That's Gan Ganon looks at all these monitors? Like, oh my god, that's a hologram. That's a digital hologram of Ganondorf. That's not, like, magic. Holy shit, I never thought of that. Holy shit. Captain Falcon just lifts them and drops them. That's so funny, actually. DK's the most expressive character. Yeah, he is. He totally is. Oh man, who's ready for the redemption arc? Everyone's favorite, we're not gonna play him by the way. Everyone's favorite, the redemption arc, we'll play as him. As our fourth character. Uh-oh. 
Oh, do I have a Franklin badge on too? Great. Shoot it, I dare you. Wow, I actually killed one. You would think like the villains would do something about the item spawn rate in their base. What? It doesn't hurt him. Oh, this is bullshit. I just let him get all that time. Open up. Oh, wow, that was easy. Jump! Pikachu. I had no idea they were actually that easy to just open up if you... Like, before I aimed for the head. This time I didn't aim for the head, I just aimed here at this base. Look at the way... He took away control of those divine beasts in Breath of the Wild as Calamity, Ganondorf himself. Probably wouldn't have any problem working with advanced technology. Oh, that's, I mean, that's true, yeah. It just looks weird, especially when it's Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Look at Olimar's pose. Poor sad Rob. Y'all ever had heard uh, Captain Falcon say whoops? You hear it? When he when he's on a ledge. He goes, whoops. Oh shit, I was so focused. I don't mean to be dramatic, but I would literally die for Rob. No, that's normal. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. All right, buddy. Okay, okay. I'd let a thousand robs die for me? Hmm. You know what game I want in some some Steam sales coming up? I want to try to grab a... I just thought of it from doing this level because this is very similar to a level in Mega Man X8. So I want to get the X, X Legacy Collection too so I can play Mega Man X8 again. No, no speed running here. Just uh, scrolling automatically. How much does the Legacy Collection cost? Each part of it is $20. Oh, okay. K 
case you need some help. Very nice of him. Mega Man can die too? Oh, that's going too far. Uh, we want the characters that can recover. Cause we got some recovering to do here. And the faster aerials. Just trying to SDI out of here. I got it. I die with Ridley too. Oh man. Textbook villain. I'm willing to subscribe to a theory that like th it means something if the characters aren't on the cliff. Because you could probably in some way sway the opinions of Bowser and and K. Rule to get them fighting on the same team, but I don't think you're going to get Ridley to act good. So it would make sense that Ridley would be chaotic. Uh, what's the word? Chaotic evil, 100%, and not unable to switch. It makes a lot of sense. Looks like the gang is all here. <clears throat> Isabel is chaotic neutral. Was she not on the cliff? I could believe it. Oh man, if there's story cutscenes, that's gonna be that's gonna happen. You know it will. Oh, this is this this is this dope ass scene where Kirby saves the day yet again. Are we ready for the more Sakurai bias? Isabel wasn't on the cliff, but Bowser was. That's interesting, that's interesting. I think it's gonna happen. That's my story predictions. Isabel's gonna be evil. Isabel will be the secretary of Galim. That was a vicious sound. Jesus. Was Ganondorf on the cliff? Because Ganondorf strikes me as pure evil. Chaotic evil. Especially Melee Ganondorf. That dude's just miserable.
I bet if the game gets data mined, Evil Isabel is gonna be the first thing everyone freaks out about. Oh, you know what'll happen with the data mining? So in Smash Wii U, all the video files in Smash Wii U are just MP4 files. So if they can just data mine and dump Smash Ultimate, and it, if it has cutscenes, they're just gonna be MP4 files. Oh man, that everything's gonna be out there. Oh man, I'm gonna avoid those actually. If that's straight up what happened, uh, I'm not gonna be able to avoid the screenshots. Oh, fucking, I should have chose Marth. I'm gonna try to avoid the screenshots. But, oh man, it's gonna be a, at least a week. Or at most a week of avoiding shit. Cause like, I get, I get what like, you know, they wanted to be vague. I talked about this before, but they wanted to be vague so that no one, so that people would go, you know what guys, yep. Nothing to data mine here, please go away. But it's Smash, it's still gonna get data mined. I don't know for what purpose if there is nothing. You know what they should do? Cut, no, they shouldn't do that. Cutscenes being a day one patch would be a bad idea. Wow, the game was not ready for that. The game did not see me doing that. It did not think I would just use a thunderbolt. Tripping, it got us again. I did put the game on a different hard drive. I put it on an SSD, so I mean, I don't remember this lag happening when I played the game, uh, when I streamed the playthrough of this game before, but I mean, it's happening, so. Maybe it's something else in Dolphin. The betrayal. Oof. Oof. Maybe Bowser remembers this. And that's why Bowser is on the good guys. And Ganador is a fucking asshole. Nice try, Ganon. Dwarf. Bro, I freaked out when I saw those bruises on Master Hand. That's blood, dude. There's blood in this game. Shit.
And what is this like symbolically implying? Is Taboo like a parent? Uh, you know what? I don't want to think about it. Let's move on to a different analogy. So any guesses what character didn't get transformed? Any any idea what character could possibly save the day right now? Any any ideas? What character would save the day in a Super Smash Brothers story mode? <laughs> Gino? That's a good guess. That's a good guess. See, DD, DDD thinking like 30 steps ahead. Absolute mastermind. Also already at subspace. It took everyone else like the entire game to get there, but DDD's just here. Uh-oh. Well, now DDD's dead. <gasps> no, shit! Oh. Playing 5D chess, yeah. This is pretty good music. You know, I, I never hear this music enough. Oh, nice music. way? Nope. Uh, I think we want to take a trip down this way, see what's here. Ike. Yeah, take that. God damn it. Uh, not yet. There's another door, too. There's Marth. Alright, well, we can finish the game now. Th there's like three doors. So who's all the way back here? Misfire! Misfire! One more try. Just kidding, one more. Damn it. We got you, Pikachu! 
No, no, no man, no Pokemon left behind. Right, Rita? Oh, shit. Do I do it? Wait, we got a projectile. Not sure I'd be okay with any Pokemon dying for me. Aside from Gen 5. Hmm. And talk about the game awards and everything that was... The nominations and everything. And you know, it's... It's gotta be said that like game award shows are kind of a joke in, in, in like their categories. Nice. Like uh, Detroit Become Human is up for best narrative so like seriously like best they're, they're, you can't take it too seriously. If yeah. that and uh, we we were we were saying how like uh, what is it best best ongoing game? There's no MMOs in that category, and Warframe is not in that category. But Overwatch is in it again. And Overwatch, yeah, it's still big, declining, but still big. Nominees are responsible for. Oh, oh, normies, yeah. For people that don't know about the shit David Cage has done. I don't know about Game of the Year. I'm still, like, iffy on most of the titles. Out of the nominations, I'd have to say Spider-Man, personally. I don't think Spider-Man's gonna win, but that's my personal answer. My Game of the Year, outside of nominations, definitely... Um, Smash. More than likely gonna be Smash. Yeah, trip, buddy. Yeah! Oh, it's side B. Oh wow, good or bad that I hit that, that I hit that item. Octopath, I'm happy is up for some categories. It's I think it's art direction and sound, or at, at least soundtrack. And that's pretty good. Uh, Octopath has a fucking astounding soundtrack. God damn, it gets you hyped for every single boss battle. That was sick and intentional. The second I saw that item drop, I, I was like, I know what I'm going to do. So I hope Octopath wins. Actually, it's up for best RPG as well. Monster Hunter could win that, but I would maybe hope Octopath wins. But I think Monster Hunter will at least win that one. There's an eSports uh, player one, and this time it actually has two FGC players, which is cool. Although the rest of the FGC categories don't have any... Or the rest of the eSports categories don't have any FGC. Except events for EVO. Uh, EVO's up for a nomination for, like, best eSports event. For Blair, though, I want, uh, definitely rooting for Sonic Fox. And it's, uh, Sonic Fox and Tokido are the two FGC players. 
I definitely think Sonic Fox deserves that. Some <laughs> some recognition for what he's fucking accomplished. Hold on, is there a trophy? No. Well, I'll take this way anyways. Oh no, I thought I could go through that platform. Okay. Nope. Pretty game. Yeah, I didn't know about the art style at first, honestly, for Octopath. Oh wait. I really thought I could just suck up an item and throw it at those things, like this is Smash Ultimate. I haven't even played Smash Ultimate and I've already got that kind concept Im embedded in my head. Just making sure no one else is down here. This will let me live through it, right? Yeah, nice. Oh, what do we got down here? Hold on, Meta Knight. This trophy is more important than you. I can't wait to get fucked over in Ultimate because the game is going to be so free-flowing and then it's also going to have directional one air dodge. Oh no it doesn't, no it do doesn't, it's still multiple. Or no, no it's not multiple but... It is directional but yeah. It is going to be a different... I meant to talk about this earlier, it's going to be a different beast entirely and this is what's cool about... Every Smash game is like, you know, I derived some comparisons earlier to like mechanics and brawl. But the reality is, every Smash game is different. We think of them all differently. That is exactly why I do the... Every time I start one of these games, I do the Black Sheep joke. Because they're all different, and to different people, one game is a Black Sheep of the bunch. I can't even say, like, now with confidence that Brawl is the most black sheep of the bunch anymore. I would definitely not say that. I don't know which one I would say is the most. But they're all different. To, to say that even this game, Brawl, feels similar to Smash Wii U is so drastically untrue. They all feel extremely different. Oh, God damn it, Kirby. I didn't miss any trophies, did I? Did a trophy just spawn? No, okay. Try twice to play Smash 4 and I can't stand it. See, that's like... I don't know, weird to think. And there are people that definitely did not like Smash 4 and I don't know why. But it's... It's such a, it's a weird thing. There's people pumped for Ultimate that are like... Didn't like, didn't like Wii U, but they loved Brawl and didn't play Wii U, or they loved Melee and didn't play Wii U. Speaking of Snake.
I don't want to be on this side. Please get me off of this side. Haha! <laughs> Magnetic ledges. Gotta love them. Ain't that a mood? Where's Eggman? That's a good question, actually. That's a really good question. We know why Sephiroth isn't in. But where is Eggman? What's he up to? This is all your fault, Ganondorf. And he knows it. I always loved how, like, he looks in Wii U where they open up his chest. Fucking Wario, an asshole. He's a wholesome guy. He is. DDD is against littering. Oh, geez. We're at the Great Maze already. Hmm. Oh man, what do we do? The the Great Maze is definitely a stream of its own, along with finishing the rest of the game. I don't want I don't want to cut off early. Damn, I thought I really thought there was another two hours before we got to the Great Maze, or another hour before we got there. I don't know what to do. Let me text. Small break. Flash game time now. Hmm. I can stream unlocking the characters and rifles of Aether, which is just buying them, I think. Rivals of Aether does have a story mode? Bullshit. No way, that's a story mode.
Oh, the crowns are here. Did I miss characters? Who would I miss? Did I miss characters? I may have missed some characters. D can anyone look at this roster and tell me if I missed a character? The Fatal Fury movie? That's a good idea. Let me start up Rivals of Aether. I'm gonna start it up. It's gonna play audio. Just see what happens. See if there's a actually a story mode. Jesus. There is a story mode. Huh. Uh, okay, let me- let me first address this. Did I get all the characters... ...from this mode? in subspace. The only other spots would be for... I think I missed one character. Assuming this goes to two grids, there should be Sonic... Um... Sonic, Jigglypuff, Toon Link, Wolf. And that would leave one slot left here. doesn't list which characters are in the subspace and which are in the maze. Hmm. I think all the Pokemon are separate. All of the Pokemon might be separate. No, we have everyone. We have everyone. Oh, here they would fit. If it was the rest of those characters, they would fit. Get back. Get back. Get back. 
Yeah, they're all here. Uh, all right, yeah, let's, uh, fuck it, I guess we'll tackle, um, Rivals of Aether. I guess, because I don't, it, I, it's going to take, like, another two hours to finish subspace. And then go and unlock the other characters. And then we would have three nights for Smash 3DS and Wii U, which we probably won't need all that time for it, so, yeah. Let me save, so I'll just close out. And save this recording. And go to BRB. That's not BRB. That is. Uh, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say that Rivals of Aether does not natively support the GameCube adapter. This thing I'm looking at looks like what I've downloaded for support in general. Mm, I don't want to download this because it could conflict with the drivers I've downloaded for uh, the game might be loud by the way. So turn it down right now. No, it's, it's not. It's good. It might contradict the drivers that I have for um, the adapter for to support itself in in uh, Dolphin. Damn it, gotta use the other layout. Why to do that? Game just made itself small. Don't do that video, game. Ooh, that's a track. Did it again.
Let's see. Uh, that works. Yeah, that works. Nope, not working. I have the other adapter, but it's finicky, but it'll work. So one second, let's plug in the second GameCube adapter I have. Um, I'm gonna need to, yeah, there we go. Press attack, I'm pressing the button. What does view mean? Press button for attack. I'm pressing a button for attack. Please let me go. God damn it. I mean, the, the, okay, the B button and A button are reversed is my current issue. What? Why is that a dash? adapter sucks. So instead, I'm going to use a PS4 controller. Oh, uh, well, well, yeah, so, okay, the controller was just extremely bugged. Okay. Use your PS1 controller without analog sticks? I could with the... The adapter I used on the GameCube controller 
the third party one, I could use that to actually use that controller. That's good. Okay, play test. This is extremely weird. Although, look at that background aesthetic. That's fucking awesome. How's the audio, by the way? It should be fine. If Brawl was okay, then I imagine this is okay. Yo, custom colors? Let's go! Yo, look at this. All right, so. Okay, let me let me start recording everything. This is going to have a very weird crop on YouTube. All right, is that set? Okay, so audition is set. I plugged in a PS4 controller which can screw up audio because the PS4 controller has a headphone jack in it. So, uh, if that, you can still hear me, at least OBS didn't fall for it. Okay, so, Rivals of Aether, if anyone hadn't heard of it, is a ga game by, uh, I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry, Dan. I don't know how to say your last name. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking for a resource where I can read your name. Dan Fornis. I'm sorry if I still said it wrong. Dude made a whole indie game based on Smash Brothers uh, and how it plays. It's a platformer fighting game. And it feels pretty fucking good. Let's run through this like we would any, uh, any of the other ones, but I haven't played this game since it was in, in, it was first available to play. I have not really played it since then. The fact that there's all these options, that there's gold in the bottom right corner, absolutely new to me. This uh, stuff advertised on the right side. Sorry, I moved my mic or my pop filter. How do I? How do I? How do I get that skin for free? I hope it doesn't like. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the OBS layout just in case that shows something personal like my Steam stuff. It opened in a browser. I think I got it. Is this the one with Shovel Knight? Is Shovel Knight is in this one, isn't he? Or no, that's uh sorry, that's um the other one. I believe Rivals of Aether guest characters. He might be in this one. Shovel Knight's in everything, dude. The playable characters uh guest characters Ori from Ori the Line Forest uh Orient Sen. And Shovel Knight. Yes, Shovel Knight is in this game. However, I clearly don't have him unlocked. Let's see what's happening on the store page. Here, it, it didn't show anything, so I can go back. Uh, Shovel Knight's five bucks, Ori is five bucks. Okay, so all the DLC characters, I have none of that. I was playing this game before there was DLC at all. 
Like when I when I when the game was like this the Absa, I know who Absa is, but I wasn't playing when Absa came out. Anyway, so it's got all these resources too. Attention all rivals of Aether Gamers. Shovel Knight needs your help. So let's see what we got. We got replays. Pretty organized recent. ABC starred. Autosave, that'd be neat. Autosave online, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 128 replays, that's fair. I wonder if these ones have a time limit. I bet they don't, though. I bet these don't have a time limit. A color editor? Fuck yes. Every game should have these. A rare commodity when it doesn't. Uh, I played Crag, I think. I'm pretty sure Crag was my guy. Let's see, let's, let's go ahead and... Oh, I could just type the numbers in if I wanted to. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Let me let me turn off Windows. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go without knowing the colors. Let's make a go to bed color. Here, yeah. Let's do that so I can pull up the OBS layout and I can match the layout color. So I can match the purple that's up at the top. And this game does not have background input. Okay. That looks pretty close. A little more saturation. Colors, colors are quite the thing, I tell you what. <gasps> Damn it! Uh, a little darker than that, so value. Colors that, let me tell you, I went to school for colors. And it probably wasn't enough. That's actually a really good purple. Yep, that's good. And, like, you know, we're perceiving that purple at the top there. I bet the purple that's right next to it, just below the purple lines is changing how we perceive the purple. So this purple actually like might not be that close to it. That was the game. Whatever that noise was, that was the game. What if we what if we sneak some green in there? All right, can I can I save? Here we go. Sick. Now we got to go to bed color. It looks very different on my monitor, but that's okay. I know I know it matches the layout close enough. My stats. Is anything saved from when I played the game? Nope, none at all. So it doesn't actually doesn't actually look like I played this game, but I did. I promise. Achievements? Maybe I have some of those. Zero. Awesome. Rewatch cutscenes from chapters you cleared in the story mode. There's the credits. Listen to your favorite tunes. What an awesome aesthetic, I gotta say. Here, let me move my cursor. Options. Uh, so I had trouble getting my GameCube controller to work with this. I, I found some drivers to download, but I don't want to conflict them with my Dolphin drivers. And, and it just wasn't working. So I can only assume it's different drivers. So I don't want to risk that. Can I just type? No, I can't. Base Dan letting me type my full name. Let's go. And I gotta reset the buttons because I set a name. I'm trying to set these to be kind of familiar buttons, but it's a PS4 layout, so it just does not feel the same as the GameCube controller at all. Test controls. As long as, like, my thumb 
covers the covers attack and jump, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. What's the story? If, uh, fires want to mate each other. I guess we're going to have to find out because I really don't know. Keyboard controls if you're into that kind of thing. Some people are. Shout out to Char. Okay. Uh, a bunch of options here. Not necessary though. Sound, as we know from when we started this game on stream, is very loud. Select your region. Okay. Oh, wait. It go back. East Coast. Yeah. Uh, custom colors. Main profile. Not going to play online, but just checking it out. Uh, team match friendlies. Exhibition. Ranks. Pretty cool. Okay. Let me see. Can I? Oh, Jesus. That noise. The game keeps, the game keeps making that noise. That's not me. You know what? Since I'm so inexperienced with rivals, let me let me talk about. Oh, this is new too. Holy shit! This looks awesome. Oh wow! You can test your character right at the screen. That's awesome. I remember I thought like, am I into heavy characters? Because this character's awesome. Yeah, that, how do I change my color? Oh, I bet it's, uh, yeah, there we go. What was that? I bet I know what that was. There. All right. So let me let me cover what I remember. Oh, we got some unlockable stages. That's cool. That's cool. They're all they're all pretty neutral, but I love the aesthetic of a lot of them. The animation is in quality. Yeah, the even the designs of the of them, even if you don't like all animals, I think it's really good. So let's see. Uh, this game has no rolling. It has uh, spot dodges, uh, directional air dodges, in, uh, spot air dodge. Uh, if you hit the roll button and a direction on the ground, you do a roll. But you can't like shield. I'm sorry. There's no shields. There's rolling, but there's no shields. I think Crag used to be able to have two towers. I don't remember entirely. This felt past. This felt faster. Crag was a really good character. He definitely had some major adjustments early on. Because you could like uh, with it with his up B, just bring him to the skybox. And combo them from up. Uh, combo them up. Yeah, that that used to be a combo. That was absolutely a combo to just spawn this tower and up smash. Easy kill. But yeah. Oh, we got some other options here. Nice, nice. Show hitboxes. Show directional input lines. As you can tell, this game has a DI. So you can choose your opponent's DI to perfect, random, normal. I wonder what the optimal option is to have it mirror a human. Because if you have perfect, humans aren't going to do that. Does random go to perfectly in directions? Because humans still wouldn't do it. But I mean... I digress, I guess. Uh, drift, I don't know what that means. Or tech. Okay, I know what that means, so they'll... Wait, does this game have grabs? I don't think this game has grabs. Oh, just ground teching, that's what it means. Not fighting game teching, but smash teching. 
Alright, so... This menu's sick. Beginner. Let's do beginner. Damn it. It won't hurt. In tutorial, I'm Orby, your host who guides to learning the basics of rivals. Let's begin with the basic controls for walking. To walk gently, move the control stick. Don't push too hard or you'll run instead. Good walk cycle. Excellent walk cycle. Now try running. Flick the control stick in the direction you want to go. Press the jump button. Make sure to hold the button long for a long enough jump. So you don't short hop. Now follow me with the double jump. Perform a double jump. Jump in the air twice in the air. Be careful though, you can only double jump once until you touch the ground again. Uh, these platforms are different from usual ground. Not only can you uh, not only can you jump through them, you can also drop down from them. Boy, this would have been good to do like at the beginning of this series. There's a literal Smash Brothers tutorial that walks you through step by step. As if you're new to the genre. This is probably where I should have started. Quickly press down the control stick to fall through the platforms while falling. Keep holding down to pass through the subsequent platforms. We master the basics of movements, we can move on to more advanced lessons. Oh, he did an Akuma pose. That's sick. We'll teach you the basic defense uh, techniques to defend yourself from enemies' attacks. First up is the parry. Okay, this game has parries. That's right. Parrying is performed by pressing the dodge button on the ground without holding left or right. If you parry an enemy attack, your opponent will be momentarily stunned, leaving them open to a counterattack. I remember this being very powerful. Parries are not instant, however. They become active two frames after pressing the dodge button. Let's try it out. Parry my three attacks in a row. It's right, it isn't immediate. Parries can also be used to reflect projectiles. Very generous window of opportunity, but I have to assume parries were nerfed in some way. Let's try rolling. If you're holding left or right, when you press the dodge button, you will roll instead of parrying. Rolling won't stun your opponent, but it can sometimes be less risky than a parry since it can create distance between you and your enemy. Try rolling out of the way of my three attacks in a row. Move on to air dodging. If you press the dodge button while in the air, you will perform an air dodge, hold a direction while uh, air dodging to move in that direction. The best Smash game is an indie game. What a black sheep. God damn it. <laughs> Careful though, you can only air dodge once though. Uh, once until you touch the ground. Jump near me and I'll attack you. Try air dodging my three attacks in a row. Wait, I didn't do it? Oh, I have to do three in a row, okay. I was just really getting a feel for it. Wow, if you whiff it, it fucks up too. There we go. Amazing, uh, as you can tell, dodging attacks takes good timing and can be pretty risky. Make sure you practice all these techniques so that you can defend yourself properly. That's really good that defense is the second tutorial and not offense. Kind of a, you know, basic thing, but that, good. You know, good. It's good that it does that. Welcome to beginner of offense tutorial. These lessons will teach you all the different types of attacks in the game, as well as the terminology used for them. The most basic attack is the jab combo. Press the attack button while your control stick is in neutral position to start a jab combo. Press the attack button again to continue the jab combo. Most jabs consist of three hits. Try it out. Hit me with all three of your jab hits. Uh, you're too tall. This is only two hits. Is, is something holding it down that I'm not doing? That's his forward tilt. Huh? What's going on? Something's holding the input. 
I'm not holding the button, but he's doing forward tilt. What the fuck? That's weird. Because look, if I hold forward, that's his forward tilt. But I'm standing neutral, but <laughs> that's all that's coming out. C can I swap? <laughs> can I swap mid keyboard right now? It's forward smash. What? What's going on here? Oh. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I thought I. Okay, so. A A A. It's not using my controller scheme. That's why. It's not using the control scheme I set. That's why. It's not using my control scheme in the tutorial, that's why. Let's move on. If you hold a direction and press the attack while on the ground, you will do a light directional attack. These attacks are usually called tilts. Three different type of tilts determined by your direction. You tilt the control stick, forward tilt, hold sideways and press attack, hold up tilt, form upward, yeah, yeah. Three times using this. Oh, it wants me to use the... Uh... You have to set the control scheme in the menu. I did. I guess I didn't choose it though. Or set. I didn't set my name. I didn't set my profile. Try strong as axe. You press the strong button. On the ground, you will perform a strong attack. The type of attack you perform depends on the direction you hold. There you go. Hold it, you can charge them. Uh, try hitting me with three different types of strong attacks. I gotta say, after coming back to the game after so long, this game feels great. This game feels really good to control. Press the attack button and a strong button in the air. You'll do an aerial attack. There are five different types of aerial attacks. Determine your direction on the control stick. Neutral air, forward air, back air, and down air. Or up air, down air. Oh, neutral air. Yes. play this game a lot. Yeah, I haven't played it since it was, uh... Forward air, whoopsie. I thought it was saying any direction. Uh, since it came out. Like, it was first available to play. Many moons ago. There was there was nothing, like, a tutorial or anything. Which is, that I think, I, that's why I'm doing the tutorial. To show that, in general, this is just a good... A uh, smash tutorial. This is actually a really great smash tutorial. That had I known that this game had a tutorial, I would have started off this whole series by saying that. It's a special attack. Press the special button. Special attacks vary between characters. Four types of special attacks determined by the direction. You know the drill. Try hitting him with. Uh, Man. Got fire fox, fire lion. Hmm, I don't remember that being his down special. Now you know all the different kinds of attacks you can experiment with them to learn each character. Be sure to remember the terminology of these attacks as well as their inputs. Feel free to come back to this lesson anytime you need to review. That was a great tutorial. It was a really good tutorial. I should have started off this entire retrospective series with that.
Uh, boy, it's free roam. We can go wherever we want. Uh, let's go here. Leaderboards, 13 seconds. Can we can we view the replays? I want to see them do this in 13 seconds. <laughs> What's up with story mode? Craig's life is slow and meditative as his people. The wall builders devote their entire lives to maintaining the great rock wall. They alone wield the power to manipulate great masses of stone. Most wall builders are born to, on the wall and will circle the, the whole Aetherian forest three times during their lifetimes, never setting foot on the ground below. Story mode sucks? Oh man, is it short? Do you think I'll get it done in an hour? Oh, it's arcade mode. I remember this music. Not my favorite tune. Oh man, I didn't set my buttons. Wait, did I have an option to set my buttons? Stage one. Can I back out so I can do that? Damn it. Flawed riding feels bad. Yeah, I'm gonna skip through I'm gonna skip them and just do the fights. That's that's my plan right now. I didn't I didn't I didn't know what we were getting into when I chose this mode. Or even saw that this game had a story. It's really interesting that this game started by taking a lot of, like, familiar melee things. But they really gave it its own identity. It doesn't feel as much as, like, what they were... as, as, it, as it used to. It, it, it got a lot of its own nuances as compared to melee. Yeah, this game feels fucking solid. Oh, you can see him now. How do you get so much damage on me? Get overshadowed by Smash Ultimate. Uh, I mean, it's not the first time it'll happen. Because I... Is this game before Wii U? Because I remember just delving time away from Smash to play this game. But then Smash played it more and then that was it. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm carrying my damage in this mode. Okay, I get you. Did not even notice. This was my favorite theme, and it still is, I think. Oh, this theme's awesome. Does this game have SDI? Can I get out of those multi-hitting moves like his tornado? Mega Man as fuck. <laughs> Hmm. 
Whoa, nice. Oh, yeah, he, shit, he has two lives. Whoa, whoa, I, ju I wall jumped. I didn't expect that. Damn, the hit stun is crazy. Damn. Ooh, okay, those multi hits. She inserted a quarter for an extra continue. Yeah, I got it, I got it. We in there. Time was terrible though, I gotta say. Uh, damn, well I felt comfortable with Crag, but, eh. Uh, first, first of all, I need to figure out this profile thing. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, figured it out. <laughs> That's all I needed. Uh, yeah, fuck it. This game feels so good. Oh, that clap. Can I kill though? There we go. Maple? Was it was that one's name always Maple? It was, wasn't it? Whoa, did you see that? It's a nutty ass recovery. The up sweet spots. Good luck to me getting that. I was reading chat, sorry.
aggressive. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I will squeeze like all sorts of um, smash like games into one video. Uh, and with that being said, we will be done with rivals after this story mode. But like in terms of capturing the competitive feel in an accessible way, Rivals of Aether does an excellent job. And I have no doubt that this game is still full of advanced techniques too. But it's a very good feeling game. And if anyone was wanting some sort of accessible way to play and not purchasing the game, this is definitely an option. If it looks appealing, I think it's worth playing. Ooh! Game. Do I have to start over or. Oh, there he goes. Continue. Adds a minute to your time. Ooh, man, that was a wicked long stun for the parry. Oh, that looks good. Some of this art I'm not too positive on, and the story mode art, albeit like the character portraits and everything still look sick. I'll be honest, I kinda got used to the default buttons and the default profile. I kind of got used to it, which is why I SD'd just there. Probably gonna game over because good luck to me getting nice getting getting the kill confirms pillar crack as is good for co recoveries yeah it definitely is Let's fuck him up.
Whoa, I teched. I wanted to air dodge, but I teched. Rita, it was just the door. Calm down. Poor girl. When's Rivals getting on Switch? When's Rivals getting on console? If it was, I don't think it should be announced anytime around Smash Ultimate. Let, let Smash Ultimate uh, sink in for a while, and then if there were if there were an announcement, I don't know. Dan's probably made the statement about it before. Oh damn! Generally, this game is also a lot cleaner and probably just easier to follow when spectating as compared to people that like first would watch something like Melee. It's definitely a lot easier to follow up a game. How long that took me? Like add on like two minutes to it too? Let's look at the world record. Eight minutes. How did I see it before? Here we go. I am ranked 54,000 in the world. The world records are 20 seconds. I'm at 8 minutes. So, you know, reach for your goals, reach for the stars. Alright, so uh, that'll be it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Tune in tomorrow for Splatfest. We'll go to Bedcast, streaming every night, Monday through Friday. Tomorrow we will be live with Splatfest. Um, on Monday, assuming they cheat, they probably don't. They probably just know how to get optimal kills. It, it, honestly, it, it, it like you could probably look it up and find it. Monday and Wednesday we'll have Pop, maybe still with RE4, and then Tuesday will be Rave, continuing Darksiders. Thursday and Friday, on Thursday we're gonna finish Brawl, and on Friday we're going to start Smash 3DS. And that'll be what happens next week. So, yeah. Alright, thanks everyone for tuning in. Good stream. Thanks everyone, and until next time, go to bed.